So here you can see that I have a group of three people in my Slack. So I got TutorTube, that is me, the TutorTube 2 and Bob. So if I were to add in another member onto the group, what happens is that a new group is created and the old messages are not shown. So what if you still want the old messages to be accessed by the member right here? So let's see how we can do that. So for that, what we have to do is we have to convert the group conversation that is the direct message conversation into a private channel first. And in that private channel, what we can do is we can add in a fourth member and he or she will be able to access all of the past um, components as well. So uh, that is handy if you want the here, past uh, past uh, conversations to be seen and it is important. So now uh, let's exactly do that to this group right here. So I can simply go to more on the details. So you can simply click on this icon and then click on more. And then you have an option right here to convert this into a private channel. So let me just click on private channel and it says by converting this conversation to a private channel, you'll be you'll make the entire message history and all shared file visible to new members that you invite to the channel. And this is the advantage of converting any messages into channels so you can uh, they can access all of your previous uh, uh, content. So that is what channel works like. So you can name the channel. So I'm just going to go around with history right over here for this channel. And I'm going to convert to a private channel. And now what happens is that it gets converted into history channel. It's been removed from the direct messages panel right here. And here you can see that the channel is there. So you have converted the group into private channel. So now what I can do is I can add in uh, another member right here that is add to history or create a new channel. So I'm just going to add to history. So I have a op option to let them view the history as well. If you create new channel, it's like um, adding a new member and uh, they don't have access to anything else. So I'm just going to click on continue right here. And then I'm going to type in Charlie right over here and then click on done. And what happens is that Charlie has been added on to uh, this private channel and Charlie will be able to see all of the history. So they will be able to see hello, hi and hi right over there. So this is something handy to have as well. And that is how you can turn group conversation into a private channel inside of Slack. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.